Phillips back now in a Baltimore uniform. And as we know, that's part of the game. Well, a nice moment there for Brett Phillips. Well, taking the mound for the Tampa Bay Rays, it's going to be right hander Corey Kluber. And as we mentioned at the outset of the show, this will be the sixth series against the Baltimore Orioles, and it will be the sixth time that Corey Kluber has faced them. Adley hitting 328 with 19 walks in 18 games since the All Star break. He'll attack it there, and Rutschman will attack him way out into right field, and it is. Off the catwalk, a home run. That is a home run off of the C ring catwalk. Adley Rutschman puts the Orioles on the board in this crazy ballpark with a bounce off the catwalk. For Rutschman, home run number six. Now, Jorge Mateo, number nine hitter. And Mateo sends one in the air to short right field. Urias got a great jump, and that ball lands in there for a hit. Urias will go to third, and Mateo second. Odor scored. But the base running read by Urias was brilliant, getting him to third as the Orioles take a 2 0 lead. One on, two out, raised down a pair. And here's Brandon Loud. And a chopper here. This will be a tough play. Mateo, glove flip, not in time. And that'll be the Rays' first hit of the game. A soft bouncer where Mateo did all he could. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Wait a minute now. Mateo all the way over, a little glove flip and a stretch. Oh, that is close. If this is an out, put this at the top of Jorge Mateo's gold glove resume. This is a ridiculous effort to even come close on this. The runner is Big out. Time. Baltimore retains their challenge. Jorge Mateo typically plays with a darkened glove at shortstop. This man is a wrecking crew in the field. That is as good as it gets for Mateo. And the Orioles end the fourth with a zero. Adley Rutschman at the plate. A long homer in the first, bounced out to second. Mullins not going here. Rutschman out to right field again on a line at a Rose Arena. He won't even try. Why bother on Mateo, who led off the inning with a double, went to third on a butt, and he'll score on the sacrifice fly from Rutschman. Two RBIs for Adley, and the O's have the first three. Here's Ryan Mountcastle. Mountcastle 0 for two. Runner goes, pitches a strike, throws a strike. Out at second base. The Orioles thinking they might want to take another look. Yeah, they're going to. Freddie Gonzalez on the horn to Brandon Hyde. Let's take a look. Big lead. There's the jump. Christian Bethencourt, a great job at coming out of that crouch and getting that ball there in time. But did the tag get there in time? Looked like maybe that left hand of Mullins was able to get to the back edge. Baltimore's challenge in the out call at second base. Right here. Great job by Bethencourt. Catch and release, perfect. Watch the tag. Was it a little late? That tag went to the ground and then to the body of Mullins. Is there going to be enough? And that left hand stayed on the bag. Yep. And that that tag looked like it got to the dirt and then over to Mullins. They, I think the Orioles may have a chance on this challenge as well. After review, the call stands. The runner is out. Baltimore loses their challenge. So here's Christian Bethencourt. Bethencourt a ground out to short his only time. He gets another ground ball chopped to the left side. Urias wide throw and the tag made. And the Rays thought they might want to take a look at it. And I think they do. It, I tell you, listen, we were, we were farther away than these umpires are, but it did not look like he got him on the tag. And so the Rays quick wanting to take a peek. This throw taking him up the line. There's the catch. Here's the reach back, and it does not get him. I'm close. Yeah, the umpires might actually get together to resolve this without <laughs> yeah. taking a look. Well, let's see. Safe. I saw him miss the tag. So they got it right. You can see Mount Castle moving off the bag, up the line to make the catch, and the attempt at the tag not even close. Let's see what the Orioles want to do. They're engaging in some further conversation. Are they gonna are they gonna go after Bethencourt for uh, the yeah. running lane? Yeah. They can't be going after the fact he he tagged them because he did, and it's pretty clear. Ball and two strikes. Fly ball left field, fairly deep. Vavra back on the track has room and makes the catch. So a long fly ball from Walls turns into the third out. There, Vavra shows the bunt, puts it down. Joy gets back to first, but the throws to the foul side and goes down toward the bullpen. Santander will score. Vavra is headed to third, but I think they're going to call him out because he was out of the runner's lane. 
We saw Gabe Morales come out to make the call, and that's not going to uh, settle in very well with Baltimore. So the Orioles do not pick up this run. We'll take another look on the bunt. Well, he was out of the runner's lane, and that's always a controversial discussion about the runner's lane there. Because it, you can't run down the runner's lane and touch first base, that's why. Odor, one for two. Odor, right field, softly hit in front of a Rosarena. Santander is going to get the wave. Here's the throw. He is safe. Everybody is safe. An uber aggressive send by Tony Mancellino. Santander beat it out. And Odor has driven in a run off of Kluber again, his ninth career RBI against Corey Kluber. And the Orioles lead it for nothing. And now the Rays pinch the infield in for Ramon Urias. And Urias skies one in the left. That's off the end of the bat. Peralta charging. Here comes another send home. Hayes is going to score. Sacrifice fly Ramon Urias. It's a two run six. It's a five run Oriole lead. The 1 0 to Mateo. Mateo smacks one. Center field base hit. Odor racing around. They'll run on Siri. They'll run on every outfielder this inning. It's a three run six. Mateo takes second. And the floodgates are open at the trap. And that's going to be it for Corey Kluber tonight. Five and two thirds. And the call goes out to the bullpen. Armstrong, the new pitcher, face Mullen, top of the order. Mullins chops one through the middle. Another two out hit. Here comes Mateo. Series throw is late. Cedric Mullins brings in the fourth run in this massive sixth inning for the O's. He scores Mateo to make it seven zip. Randy Rosarena. And it's swung on and a fly ball deep to left. All the way to the wall. Gone. Home run for Rosarena. Well, he took care of that 3 2 pitch this time, hitting his 14th home run. And the Rays are on the board. So here's Odor having a nice night. Odor fist one over the outstretched glove of Walls. Another hit with a runner in scoring position. Odor with a three hit, two RBI game. The O's are six for eight with runners in scoring position, and they stretch the lead back to six. Taylor Walls with one out, one on. Lined into center field. That's going to be in there. We'll get past Mullins. The Rays are going to get a run out of this, and Walls will stop at second as the throw comes through. Bethancourt scores standing up on the double by Walls. So now the Leadoff man, Cedric Mullins, two for four. Mullins blast one. Deep to right field. Cedric Mullins leaves the yard. Another one off the catwalk, it looked like. The Orioles have gone catwalk hunting tonight. Two balls up on the rings from Rutschman in the first. And now Mullins in the eighth. And Cedric smashes his tenth of the year. Arias. Arias out to left field. And Peralta put it away. Here comes Hayes. It is the second sacrifice fly for Ramon Urias tonight. And the Orioles get into double digits and run. And Christian Bettencourt, the Rays catcher, will bat. He is one for three tonight with a run score. He owes a strike away. And there it is. And a 10 17 on Friday, August the 12th, 2022. The Baltimore Orioles find themselves in possession of a postseason position. A season high 19 hits. The Orioles blast the Rays 10 3.